Hello, today I'm here with my third video for this week and my US Place week and today we are going to dig in to the Magic Palette. I have the big <laughs> Magic Palette. There is a small version and I can recommend you to buy it but it looks like this and this was also one of the first palettes I bought and this palette is amazing as all the other palettes. I really love this gold shade in this one and it's a really good palette even though it is so freaking big because it's the normal size and not the small and uh, the mini but this is 16 colors and it's one two three four five six matte and ten shimmer shades and this has almost everything that you need so for this video today we are doing a palette bingo so i'm going to use five shades and i'm going to use random.org um, to generate which numbers and you can't see a shit I think uh, so we will just generate so I put in 1 to 16 and generate I got number 6 so this Nana is number 6 number 3 and it's Usun this pink shimmer number 8 so it's Kugi this pink one it doesn't look so pink in the pan but I it is a pretty oh I can't watch uh, I sh maybe should have told you that before I can't watch so yeah <laughs> next shade then we have number nine which is Faso this I, I think it's purple shimmer purple and blue shimmer okay and then the last one I really hope that I get something more matte number seven <laughs> and I do not I got Borneo I ended up with this so terrible swatch so, okay let's see I got this Usan Nana Borneo Kogi and Fasel so, three shimmers and two mattes. Okay, what do I want to do with these colors? I hope you can see the swatch because I'm not all that great with the swatching. Uh, I just have to think a little bit, then I will come back and then we will do the eye look. Okay, so I haven't been thinking for a pretty long time, but I think I know what I want to do. So I will start with Nana and put it in my crease. And I don't know if I have used this shade, maybe once or twice. And I really love to watch palette bingos because it's it's fun to see <laughs> people have to figure out things with colors that they maybe wouldn't have picked. So I think that is pretty fun. Okay, so something like that and then I'm going to do the thing I love to do right now. I'm going to take Kugi, this one, and put it also in my crease but with a pointer brush just to get some dimension to it. And I don't know why I haven't done this before. Because I really like how it looks. And this shade, I remember the first time I used this. And it is so freaking pigmented. It feels a little bit dry in the pan. But it swatch amazing and also... The payoff is amazing. So for my lid I'm going to take Borneo and also Faso. So I'm going to take Borneo on my outer half and then Faso on my inner. But not the whole way in because we are doing something more. I don't think I've used this Borneo. Because I don't feel like it is... Uh, shade that is so special for 
only this palette. It is a really good shade. UVs are so good with shimmers, but it's like nothing that I reach for. It's not the color, <laughs> this is not the color that stands out for me in this palette. It's just how it is. But it's nothing wrong with it. It's easy to put on. It's easy to blend out. But it's not a showstopper. I'm going to take Faso. I hope I won't right. Yeah. Faso and put it in the middle. And this shade. Oh my. It is both like purple, blue and a little bit pink. But also a little bit... I don't know. It is really really nice. It was a long time since I used this palette. I don't use it as much anymore. And I don't know why. I don't know if it is so big. Why well, that would stop me. I don't know. But sometimes when palettes are too big. It's just like I'm. I doesn't reach for it. So now I'm going to take. Usan. Yes, I have a double mirror. I have a mirror here. Yes, I'm gonna take Usan. 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 And put in here. And then when I have fixed my base and we're going to do the under eyes, I'm going to take this as well and put it on my eyes. And this feels so freaking creamy. And yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you can see this. Can you? This and Faso. It's like a match made in heaven. When you first look at it, it looks almost like the same shade. But then you can see that this... The Faso is more blue and purple and this is like pink and... Almost silver and s silver or gold. Or both, I don't know. So these are my lids. I don't know how much you can see. And <laughs> I'm going to take away the fallout. I'm going to take away all these swatches as well. Because elsewhere it's going to go everywhere. So I'm going to take away the fallouts. Fix my base. Then we're going to do the under eyes. And I will see which lipstick. And I'm going to fix some eyebrows. So I will be back when all this is back. Well this is on. And gone. So I'm back and it's time for under eyes and I'm go oops I am going to take Faso on my outer corner here and then really take Usun in my inner corner and then meet up with the Faso and I really hope that it is possible to make this stick I'm first going to try without spray. Okay, maybe not without any spray, so I will spray it. And it does, I don't know how much you can see. I don't know if you can see this. Do you see any difference between the eyes? I don't really know. I see it, but I am really close so so the fuss is on and now I'm going to take okay yeah I'm gonna show you this Usun 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 I don't know so I am and this I really want in my inner corner to be really Big and also down on my lower lash. Okay, so this Usan was amazing to have on in my inner corner, and also this works. Faso worked pretty good if I sprayed it. So for my lower lash, for my waterline, I mean, 
I'm going to use this faux white from NYX and this is in the color white smoke but it is a little pastely purple I don't really know how to describe it but I think it will suit both the pink and the purple that's on and then I'm going to pop on some mascara and I have a little question for you when it comes to mascara do you put on the mascara with the same hand on both eyes because I do not um, so how do you do it? and the good thing about doing this is you don't get any mascara on your nose or doesn't get a weird angle like this and you see what you're doing so some lip before this I'm going to check a little bit what I have and then I will put on something and come back but I think I want something pretty light um, or dark okay so the lip color feels totally off for this look but this is one of my favorite lipsticks ever it's hanging rock from Nabla I just love it and it feels like it steals um, from the eyes I don't know but I love this one so I think I will have it and it goes a little bit with the thing I have going on in the crease so we stick with this so this is my finished palette bingo look with the magic palette by UVS and I love this as well and also one of my cats do it because somebody has shoe on it here and I know exactly who it is it is Boobil so both me and Boobil Boobil <laughs> like this palette a lot I think this is this is a very colorful palette but it's not in intimidating intimidating uh, when you look at it so if you want to try UVS but you don't oh, know if you want to go the whole length like with crazy colors and stuff I think that this is a good choice it has 16 shades you will find something in here so I really hope that you like this and we have four more videos to go and four more palettes to go and I will leave in the description which palettes I have used and which I have left so if you want to you can start guessing what you think we will see what you will see tomorrow and I hope you like this video so I will see you in the next one bye